In this video, we'll create a production ready Go file and we'll push it to AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure. So let's start. First, let's uh, run Go mod in it. I will call uh, the project uh, Docker. Doesn't matter. So also go to the Go Fiber framework. We won't use uh, this uh, framework, but uh, we will just uh, copy the hello world part. So we'll create a main.go file and uh, so enable integration here. Let's create a go file main the package. So I'll paste it here. This is uh, our main.go file and uh, of course, let's also get this fiber module here. So go get this. So we got that. Uh, we added it on our go mod. So we have also got some. So these are important because we need to add them to Docker. So this is our uh, go app. Now let's create the Docker file. So I'll create a file here docker file also make sure to have uh, docker installed in your machine so uh, now here we need to uh, specify the environment which this container will be built and this will be a golang container so i'll put the version here which is uh, the latest version for this uh, time is 1.16 and uh, I'll add the uh, Alpine here, which is a version of uh, Linux, which is the smallest one. And uh, now let's specify a working directory. I'll call it app, but you can uh, name, name it whatever you want. So the working directory is app. Now let's copy go mod to the app directory. So this other dot means uh, that uh, it will be copied to this working directory. Let's copy also uh, go sum there. So we copied this. Now we can uh, download them. So to download them, we need to run the command go mod download. So with this, all the packages that uh, we will install here, they will be downloaded also in the Docker container. After that is finished, we have to copy all the files. So this dot means all the files here. The second one will means uh, all of the files will be copied, copied to the working directory. So once we copy everything, we uh, run go build uh, and the output will be out dist so you can uh, name the output as you want and uh, it will run uh, on these uh, uh, files here so we can run that command also now so we can test uh, what it does generate so we have out and uh, we have a distribution here that uh, we can use so uh, now that uh, we have this uh, this uh, exec executable we run a command which is simply out dist that's it so you can name it uh, whatever you want i named it dist and uh, simply we will run uh, this file and i will go run go up will run okay one last change that i will make which uh, all the backends needs to listen to port 80. So I don't want to listen to port 3000. I will listen to port 80, but this will be the port inside the Docker container. So don't worry if uh, this conflicts to your browser. So now that we have built everything, let's run this. So to run this, run Docker, build, we need to name the container. I will name the container app. So to name the container, 
we have to put minus t in front of it. Then we need to add dot here, which means uh, that uh, it will uh, uh, search for this uh, folder and uh, it will run this Docker file. So let's build it. And now it's building. So it will run all these commands and uh, let's wait till it's completed. So everything was successfully built and uh, now we can push this container to the cloud but before let's see it on our browser if everything runs fine so run docker run we need to specify the port so the port inside the docker container was 80 but in our local host we can put uh, whatever port we want i will put 8888 and then we need the name of the container which we called it app so as we can see uh, the fiber app is running and now if we go to localhost port 8888 we'll see hello world here so uh, we successfully build a production ready uh, container for golang and now let's push it to the cloud and i'll close this ide because we don't need it anymore so I'm logged into my Azure portal here and uh, before I create anything make sure to have uh, installed the Azure CLI. So download the right version for your machine and uh, follow the instructions. You will have uh, access to this az command which uh, it will show these options. So before uh, so let's go back to the Azure portal and uh, we will create a container registry. So we don't have any container registry yet. So let's create a container registry. So uh, I will create a container registry here. The resource group, I, I have a demo, demo resource group here, which I added just the name. The registry name, I will call it app. So it needs uh, to have a five characters so i'll call it my app uh, already in use so my container okay it's container app so which name is not used so my container app i will use this uh, name and uh, for the location you can pick your location for this SKU. I will select the ba basic version. Let's create it. And uh, we can uh, create this uh, registry. And now that we created our registry, uh, we need also to log in. So uh, first we have to log in uh, via Azure like this easy login so we need to sign in to our account here and uh, we logged in to microsoft azure so as we can see uh, it uh, shows this data so after we log in there we have to run this other command so uh, azure uh, Azure Container Registry login and here we need the name which was which was app so let's copy it also so go to the resource and let's copy the URL which is uh, this one so uh, we don't need the suffix So let's log in. So this will allow us to push the Docker container to Azure. So we successfully logged in. And uh, now that we logged in, we can uh, push our image. To push our image, first we have to tag the image. So Docker tag. The name of our container is up and uh, I'll paste again this uh, URL which I copied and uh, we need to add in the end slash app. So this is uh, our uh, repository here. So I added this 
and uh, after we tug we have to push it so let's push it and now it's pushing our container to the uh, Azure uh, container registry so let's wait till it's completed so it is completed now we can go back and uh, here we'll go to the repositories this is our app repository and uh, here we have our image so this is uh, our image and uh, what I will do here is uh, I will copy this uh, container name so I'll copy this and uh, let's go back to the home and let's create a container instance now so let's create a container instance I'll select the same resource group uh, we need the container name the container name is up and uh, we have to select the image source to Azure container registry and we have our uh, container app so uh, we need to enable uh, admin here so let's click learn more and we have to run this command so uh, I will copy this command and I will run it here so we need the, the uh, name here or I will write it directly not sure if we need the uh, my container up so I made the mistake here it should uh, be with uh, one M not two M's so it is enabled and uh, now we can uh, use it so uh, do we need to refresh here I will refresh and I'll select this resource group I'll select up here registry and now it is selected so uh, everything is correct I'll change the size here I'll keep everything minimal so 0.5 is uh, minimal uh, memory so I'll select this review and create uh, also I think uh, I forgot something so uh, we need to also go to the networking part and we have to map the port 80 so by default is automatically mapped so we don't have anything to change but if your container port is different we need to select here the uh, the other port so 80 is correctly and uh, we don't need to uh, change anything else let's create it so deployment is in progress the deployment is complete so let's go to the resource and uh, we have a public IP address here so we can copy this IP address and if we go to that IP address we can see our app deployed so this is how we deploy a docker container to Azure contain container instance Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.